Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about how we got to keep the law. And yes, we do have to keep the law, but we are not justified by the law. We are not going to be saved alone by keeping the law. We keep the law and we have faith, okay? You can't show you have faith by breaking the law. It shows that you're, you're a sin. So the Lord died for our sins. But if you're breaking the law, it means you're you're sinning. And it goes to show that you don't truly believe and you're not you're not honoring Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, the Lord is the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. The wicked are the ones that are sinning. So you're not in God's good graces when you're breaking his law. You know, you gotta repent and turn from your wicked your wickedness. Alright? So we have to keep the law to the best of our ability, all right, with grace, all right, with grace, because we have grace, but we have to keep the law, all right? This is Matthews 5 and 17. It says, think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till earth, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. All right. It says, think not that I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. All right. So that's the Lord talking. And we talk, it's in red. All right. So he did not come to destroy the law, man, but to fulfill. To fulfill what? To fulfill um, what was written of him. All right. That's what he came to fulfill. All right. This is a, uh, let me go to, what's that? X thirteen twenty nine. <clears throat> X 13 and 29. It says, and when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him on the sepulcher. All right. So this is talking about Yahweh Shai, you know, after he had died on the cross. All right. It says, and when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, which is what was written in the Old <clears throat> Testament, which was prophesied that he was to come. All right. Um, that's what it was. You know, it, what was fulfilled, what was written about him. All right. And uh, that's what it means when it talks about, but to fulfill. All right, I'm going to jump down to verse 19. It says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All right, so you can't even teach uh, to break the least commandments. All right, the least of the commandments. There's certain commandments that are harder to keep than others, you know. But if you teach to, to break the least, all right, you are an enemy of the Lord, all right. So you must keep the law, all right, according to Yahweh Shai, all right, who who who, who said uh, keep the commandments, all right. This is J uh, John 14 and 15. It said, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father that He shall give you another Comforter, and that He, he may abide with you forever. All right. So the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right. So you got to keep the commandments. All right. 
This is uh, John 5 and 45. Oh, Slocky, that's... Yeah, yeah. John 5 and 45. It says, Do not think that I have, that I will accuse you uh, to the Father. There is one that accuses you among Moses in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe mine? How, how shall you believe my words? All right. So Moses wrote the law. All right. He brought the law. All right. All right. He's like the, the law of Moses, which is really the law of Yahweh. All right. But yeah, it's Moses. All right. And he had the law. So if you believe in Moses, you got to believe in Yahweh Shai. All right. It's that simple. All right, this is uh, Romans 3 and 31. It says, Do you then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we established the law. So you cannot make void the law through faith. You can't say, well, I got faith. Well, you got to have faith and works. The scriptures say you shall know them by their faith and their works. All right, the works of the law, keeping the law. All right, so you got to know them by both. All right, you can't have one without the other. You got to have both. All right. This is uh, Galatians 3 and 10. It says, For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse for it is written, curses is, is, is everyone that continueth not in the things which are written in the book of the law to do them. All right. So you got to keep the law. <laughs> Otherwise you're cursed. All right. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. So you're not justified alone by the law. The just is going to live by faith. All right, let's, let's, let's return back to Romans. Romans 3 and 31. Do you make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. All right. Verse 11 in Galatians 3 and 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith. But the man that doeth them shall live in them. So... Listen, the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. So you're going to live in the law. You're going to do the law. You're going to have faith in the law. Okay. You know, you're going to have faith while keeping the law. All right. It's that simple. All right. It says, uh, yeah, Yahweh Shai hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us for it is written, curses anyone that hangeth from a tree. All right. It says that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So it's through the faith, man. All right. Of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The faith of Yahweh Shai. But we still keep the law because if you break the law, it separates you from Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai said, you know, um, if you love me, keep my commandments. So you got to keep the commandments. And he says that he did not come to destroy the law. So you keep the commandments, all right, to the best of your ability. All right. It's that simple. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.